Hi there everyone and welcome back to Advanced Higher Biology. Today we're continuing on with the final key area of Unit 1 Cells and Proteins and looking at protein control of cell division, this time 5b, the cell cycle. So in the previous video we looked at the cytoskeleton and we mentioned microtubules and spindle fibres, polymerization and depolymerization. In this uh, sub-key area we are going to be talking about the cell cycle or mitosis. This will be a process that you'll probably be uh, familiar with from National 5, but as I said, we're going to go into a little bit more detail and there's also some new words and phrases you're going to have to remember. Um, so first of all, the, the full cell cycle that we've talked about before, there's really two main phases. What we have is first of all, a part called interphase and then the mitotic phase, mitosis essentially itself. Now, the mitotic phase is sometimes abbreviated to the M phase, and we'll be going through all these different parts and also in the next couple of sub-key areas as well. Now, interphase itself is where there is growth, there's DNA synthesis and replication taking place. And again, we'll be going into a little bit more detail about this in the next key area because there's a few checkpoints that have to go alongside the control of the cell cycle to make sure everything's working, that replication's taking place, that replication has worked correctly. But essentially, this involves growth phases called G, so there's G1 and G2, and then there's an S phase where there's actually uh, DNA replication, a synthesis uh, phase taking place with an interphase. That mitotic phase, though, is the process of mitosis, and then finally cytokinesis, which again, you'll recognize both of these parts when we go into them. So to go and focus on the mitotic phase today, or mitosis, Essentially, you should remember the process of cell division or mitosis involves chromosomes being separated by uh, spindle fibres. We're now going to refer to them as spindle microtubules because we now know the spindle fibres are made up of the microtubules, which are those hollow cylinders made up of the protein tubulin. Uh, and then finally, cytokinesis is actually when that cytoplasm is separated into the two daughter cells. So the mitotic phase is essentially the area you looked at in National 5. Mitosis is the separation of the chromosome material, and then that final separation of the cell into two cells is that part called cytokinesis. And bear in mind, before that, there is interphase, but we'll go into that in a bit more detail. So for mitosis itself, you need to be aware of the four stages of mitosis. So we have quite a, a big area here that we're just dividing into more and more and more sections, which we often do in biology. But in mitosis, so the, the area of um, separating out the chromosome, uh, the chromosome material that you've seen before, you may remember you were taught it in different stages, but we weren't too worried about the names or the stages, just the actual process itself. These stages all have their own names and they all are separate stages. So we have prophase at the start, metaphase, anaphase, and then telophase. Um, a good way of remembering it for myself is just PMAT, um, so you know the, the order of them. Other people have more clever ways of remembering um, a couple of sentences about how to get the right order, but PMAT is quite a simple one just to get it into your head. So first of all, when we have prophase taking place, this is where DNA condenses into chromosomes, and that's gonna be consisting of those two sister chromatids that you might remember. So you have the chromatids, joined by the central mirror in the middle and that forms that chromosome that sort of x shape that you've seen before at this point as well the nuclear membrane is going to break down around that area there so this genetic information is prepared for separation what's then going to happen is we talked about mtoc or microtubule organizing center those are going to then send out these spindle microtubules so if you remember polymerization are when these spindle microtubules are extending from the mTOC region and they're going to attach to chromosomes. Now, you may remember in National 5, we talked about the spindle fibres or these spindle microtubules attached to the chromosomes at the centromere. It's quite specific. They don't attach to the actual chromatids themselves. It's the centromere. We are going to go into a little bit more detail. And you can see in this diagram here, there's an area of the centromere called the kinetochore. Now, and that's where the spindle fibers are going to attach to. So they lock onto the kinetochore and then they're going to be pulling these uh, chromatids apart. Now, the next part is metaphase. Now I tend to remember metaphase just being the middle part. These are where the chromosomes go and line up at the equator. 
Again, we're going into a little bit more detail now, rather than just referring to that middle line as the equator, we're going to call it the metaphase plate, hence metaphase being used. So these chromosomes are all lined up. Um, we have the spindle fibres, spindle microtubules attached to the connature, and these are ready to be pulled apart at metaphase. So if you were to be asked a question of a diagram of a stage of mitosis and name them, this is quite a common one where the chromosomes are lined up and just try and remember metaphase for this one. Now, once they're lined up, we're going to go on to the pooling stage or anaphase, where these spindle microtubules that are attached at those centromeres, they're then going to pull back to the microtubule organizing center. And again, they radiated out through polymerization, so they're going to go and be pulled to the opposite poles and sort of shorten and condense through depolymerization. So depolymerization takes place, the sister chromosomes are separated, and those chromosomes are then pulled to your opposite poles. So remember, the chromatids are separated, but referring to the chromosomes being pulled to each stage. And then finally, that means we have telophase. Now, telophase is just before the separation, the cytokinesis takes place. But in telophase, the chromosomes have been pulled to the opposite poles of the cell. The chromosomes are going to decondense and new nuclear membranes are going to form around each set of chromosomes. And you can now see that we have the beginning of two new genetically identical daughter cells here. So again, for PMAT, we had our prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase for this stage. And then finally, we would have cytokinesis taking place, which is its own distinct stage where the uh, cytoplasm is going to split. So you can see here in both animal cells and plant cells, similar process. We have, and you may remember this, idea of cleavage taking place to separate those cells or cell into two cells. So cytokinesis is the splitting part. And that's all for your stages of the cell cycle. As I said, it's just going into the same process you have seen uh, before in National 5, but just adding a little bit more detail to what's actually going on, what's the name of the spindle microtubules, where exactly do they attach, and um, referring more to the, the equator as a metaphase plate, and obviously knowing your stages. So there's interphase, there's then prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase for mitosis, and then cytokinesis. So make sure you go through these, you're able to recognize those parts, name those parts, and you're also able to go and give a full description of that entire process as well. So hopefully you find that okay, and that was quite useful for you. The next stage, as I mentioned, we're then going to go into how that cell cycle is regulated and how it is controlled, and we'll be talking more about these uh, G1 and G2 phases from uh, the, the first part as well. So make sure you're aware of your different parts of mitosis.